We are here at Dodger Stadium. It's been a couple days since we saw the Tigers at Angel Stadium, and we're gonna see them one more time right here playing the Dodgers. Again, this is uh, Miguel Cabrera, Miggy, his last season, his last month. Actually, he's only got a couple more weeks of baseball, and we're gonna get to see him play one more time. This will be an exciting game. Mm -hmm. Let's go see the NL West champs. Another important thing to say is that you have not gotten a ball from the Tigers. Oh yeah. And uh, we saw them the other day and you couldn't get one because we got there way too late. Yeah. So this is the last chance of the season. Yeah. What do you think? Can do it? I believe so. All right. Well, we're about to uh, go through security and uh, we'll go watch them hit. See if we can't catch a couple. Yeah. All right. They're opening up. We're in. There's Mr. Nomar. Good news. They are hitting. They're not hitting yet. Just doing a little fielding exercises, but they'll be hitting shortly. So the fielding exercises are winding up already. That was really quick. And so far they only tossed one one up and yeah. uh, tossed it over to this kid wearing a Detroit shirt and he gave it to the kid next to him. Yeah. Pretty cool, but that's the only ball that's come out so far. Yeah. But batting practice is coming up. Going a good 15 minutes, and not one home run has come out to right field. I don't think it needs to left field either. Oh. Ground rule double. Finally got something up here. How am I supposed to film you catching them if they're not hitting any out? It's a weak day. It was a weak day in Anaheim with these guys. Yep. All right, so that's it for batting practice and uh, nothing. Yeah. Yeah, those guys actually couldn't hit much out. And uh, I don't even remember a home run coming. Just a couple of uh, uh, ground root doubles that came out over here. Yeah. And then a couple home runs to left field. Yeah, couldn't get anything. So we're going to head out over to the dugout and see if we can't get any action over there. Yeah. And we'll go from there. So we've been hanging out over here watching these guys get the field ready and uh, there's no Tigers coming out to warm up on the field right here so we're not going to have any luck. So back to the bullpen it is. We have Ron Fiesta, the last one for our last home stand. And you come early because that's going to be at 310. So make sure you get here at 310 for that. The stage is going to be set up at the 76 station in the parking lot. So get out here early. <laughs> Thank you so much, Tim. Woo! You got your ball from the Tigers. Yeah. All right. It's a dirty, fatty practice ball, or whatever, but it's good, huh? All right. All right, so before the game started, uh, we hung out next to the bullpen. The uh, regular warm-up for the Tigers was going on, and at one point when they ended, you got a toss-up from Tim, the batting coach. Luckily. Luckily. So there you go. You got one from the Tigers. Yeah. Yep, that's awesome. So one thing, remember, we were talking about is, is Miggy's last, um, you know, it's his last couple of games here at Dodger Stadium and last couple weeks of him ever playing. And uh, they did a little ceremony for him at the beginning of the game. We couldn't get close to it because we were back by the bullpen. Yeah. But uh, here's what it looked like. What an unbelievable and tremendous career for Miguel Cabrera. Congrats, Miguel Cabrera. You see the bazooka right there? His hero was Miguel Cabrera out there in the
So while we're walking around looking for garlic fries, J.D. Martinez just hit a solo home run. Yeah. Dodgers are now winning. One, two, nothing. Bottom of the second. Just because you want to pick out your own garlic fries, we have to go all the way up to the reserve level. Yep. And uh, <laughs> that means stairs and escalators. Yep. All right. I'm already tired. Yeah, I'll just stand here. Five minutes later. Yeah. <laughs> I enjoyed the ride. Yeah. So here's your spot, Dodger Dogs Express. Yeah. Where you just go grab your own stuff. Yeah. So let's see what you're gonna get. Yeah. All right, so this is where you're going to grab your own. Yeah, I got to choose wisely. You got to pick your own uh, garlic fries or hot dogs, whatever. I'm going to grab a hot dog. All right. Now you got to pay over here. Now after you pick out your stuff, you got to go pay. Yeah. All right, we'll walk up here. All right, so we're sitting down up here in the reserve. And got my hot dog. Got your garlic fries. They don't have any onions. Dodger Stadium never has any onions. Bummer. How do you feel about those garlic fries? They're really good. I mean, all garlic fries are pretty much really good. But uh, I've had better. Like Angel Stadium, it's, first of all, it's a lot bigger, like the helmet and stuff. And it's waffle fries, so they're crunchier. And I, just I think it was cheaper, too. It was way cheaper. Yeah, like a couple dollars cheaper, and you get much more. And then they have a garlic dipping sauce, too, which is really awesome. Yeah. So maybe we'll try uh, garlic fries at other stadiums as well. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have to say the Dodger dog is not what it once was. I think yeah. I think once they switched from Farmer John, uh, they got worse. They don't. They don't. It doesn't taste as good to me. And actually, other stadiums are better. much better. Yeah. I'm still Fenway Frank guy. <laughs> well, that was fun. Will yeah. Smith just hit a sack fly. Miguel Rojas scored. It's now two to nothing, bottom of the third. And immediately after that, JD Martinez hits a three run home run. That's his second of the game. It's now five to nothing. Still the bottom of the third. Alright, got a new mural over here. How you like that? Cool. You know who that is? They just said it today. You should just know that. I don't know who that is. He's kind of, you know, iconic with, with Dodger history now with the, the sad face. Remember when he made the sad face to the Astros bench? I feel like I know who it is, but I don't want to be, I don't want to say it and I don't want to be ashamed for being wrong. Oh, man. Like, I think I know who it is, but... So who do you think? I'm scared if it's wrong. Who is it? Who do you think? <laughs> Is it like Joe Kelly? Or That's Joe Kelly. Okay. That's right. I got it right. <laughs> you remember you took a picture with him at the other mural where he's doing the sad face on that barber shop off the sunset? Yeah. And then we went and saw him this spring training, but he was playing for the White Sox. Remember that? Yeah. He was out there with all the pitchers. But he's back with us. Yeah. I like him. He's a cool guy. But he's wearing the mariachi jacket. That's the, the jacket he actually wore to the White House. Pretty funny, huh? Yeah. <laughs> All right, you can hear the applause. There's a little bit of an applause going on right now. And once again, we're way up here, but that is uh, Miguel Cabrera. Miggy is up. This is one of the last times you're ever going to see him bat. Well, Miggy's on base. That's going to be the name of my band. I'm gonna call my band Mickey's on Bass. <laughs> I like that name. Oh no. Well, there's a three run home run by uh, Jake Rogers. This place is booing. Not really sure why, but uh, Jake Rogers is the Tigers catcher. This place is the Tigers catcher. 
This spot was unlucky. We're going back down. Yeah. All right. So if you look behind you, there's a mur mural right here. And this is just recently redone. And the reason it was redone is because it had Julio Urias on it. Uh. And uh, everybody has heard what happened with Urias. He got arrested again for yeah. domestic violence. Yeah, it was the second time. And the first time, I don't know what happened. They just let it slide like it was a misunderstanding or something like that. Now this time it's a felony arrest. So he is off the team and out of the MLB. So anyway, they took all of his stuff out of the stores and they removed him from the mural. And I noticed that on the way up to the other mural was just painted black. But uh, anyway, sad. But anyway, I just had to see what they were, what they did with this mural. I don't know, but who is driving that car? What is that thing? And then there's the Joe Kelly face that we were just talking about. What does that mean? That's awesome. Then you got Justin Turner over here diving. It's cool looking. I know, it's cool. I miss him, man. I mean, I like that he's on uh, the Red Sox, but I miss him. I want it. We, we need to get him back. He's like, for, I feel like he's forever known for the Dodgers. Like. Yes. Well, we took uh, Kike and Joe Kelly back. Let's get Justin Turner back next. Yeah. And you got Mookie Betts screaming. Yeah, man. Will Smith. Austin Barnes. 2020 World Series hat. And then you got Kirsch holding up the trophy. So who's that over there? Is that Caleb Ferguson? I don't know. So we're over here in the Gold Glove Bar, and we're uh, going to look at the pitcher warming up through the windows. So we were just in the Gold Glove Bar. It's really loud in there, but we were looking through the window at Caleb Ferguson warming up. And it's really hard to see. They should make that glass clear instead of having the little holes or whatever, but I guess it's because there's some metal protecting the glass. Yeah. But uh, we'll look at them from the top. So they uh, took Ferguson and put him in the game. So we didn't get to actually see him pitching by the time we got up the top of the stairs. Looks like they successfully started the wave. There we go. Starts off the bottom of the seventh with a home run to left field. It looked like it went to the bullpen. I couldn't really see it. Seven to three, bottom of the seventh. All right, it looks like somebody else ran out over the field. Oh, he's fighting them. All right, so apparently the guy just jumped over the rail and got tackled immediately. So he didn't get to run on the field or do do much. They saw it right away and got him. But that is crazy. That is the fourth time this season that we've seen somebody run on the field. Three times here and one time at Angel Stadium. And we just talked about that in a previous video. That's so crazy. All right. We're going to have Joe Kelly close it out. Ready for uh, Joe Kelly. So that's the end of the game. Uh, Dodgers kick butt, and then we're over here by the uh, dugout, Dodgers dugout, and Mookie Betts was just over here with some of his friends and family. 
uh, taking pictures. He took that jersey off and signed it for him, and that was pretty cool. It would be yeah. nice to have that. Yeah. But sucks you're so close to, like, maybe getting him to be able to sign something, but so far away. I know. Even though he's only, like, 20 feet I know. from you, you know? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're over here at the Spectrum Sportsnet where uh, Jerry, John, and Nomar are broadcasting. And um, we're just kind of basically waiting on traffic to get out of here so it's easier for us to get out. Yeah. So it was a really good game, um, a lot of action. I was really happy with uh, J.D. Martinez coming back and because uh, he was on the IL for a little bit. And he, yeah. Anyway, he's back, and he hit two home runs today. And... I'm going to take credit for some of uh, JD's home runs today, actually both of them, since I was wearing my Valley Cats shirt. Yeah. So the Valley Cats are a minor league team in New York, upstate New York, Troy, and um, JD used to play on that team yeah. back in the day, along with a lot of other people, uh, like another Dodger, Kike Hernandez, he played on that team as well. Um, there, but there's been several others like Jose Altuve, George Springer, Fernando Tatis Jr. I mean, there's there's tons of big stars that came off that team. So um, I'm going to take a little credit for wearing the shirt okay. that nobody else is wearing in this stadium. Yeah. Um, and we do have a video from the Valley Cats and when I got the shirt, actually. I mean, I mean, actually, there's a few of them, I think. I mean, we went several games. Yeah. Uh, so we do have those. And then he also played for uh, the Red Sox for a long time. Everybody knows that. And we do have a few videos from Fenway that you can go back and watch yeah. and JD was on the team I think during that time so um, yeah he was actually because I remember seeing him outside at the player parking and we were trying to get his autograph but he kept walking by us but we didn't get him but we ended up getting a couple other guys and uh, that was really fun all right so uh, crowds getting thin it was already pretty thin it was like uh, 37,289 people here tonight which yeah. this place holds 56,000 so it was about 20,000 short of uh, full. And uh, that's because it's just the Tigers. We've already clinched. And uh, it's a weeknight. All right, that's it. We're out of here. Until next time. Until next time.